All right, this is Paul and Jared, and we're just putting together a quick tailgate session on how to deal with targeted waypoints. Uh, in this example, which is one that Pennsylvania Task Force One raised, uh, how would I help someone navigate in the field to a targeted search waypoint? Let's use a quick scenario here where we are dealing with a swift water or flood event where a car has been reported to have washed into the riverbed or a quarry or something similar. Um, I might get an address. I might get coordinates, but in this case, I'm going to get uh, U.S. National Grid coordinates to that location. I can type those into the search bar in the Intel Manager. That'll make sure I'm in the right spot. I can check the imagery if I'd like, but I think this is going to be close enough for our incident. So I'm going to open up the Smart Editor. I'm going to click on targeted search waypoint. This is something I want to assign to someone. I want to make sure they go to search there. And I don't need to fill out all the information, but I'm going to go ahead and just say do a targeted search there. It's already got the waypoint type. I'm going to leave most of these fields blank, uh, except for I really want to say that this needs follow up. That'll make it show up as needs follow up in our dashboard. Or if it's assigned, I'll go ahead and say it's been assigned. This means that we've communicated to the team that they need to go here. And I'll just mark it as critical life safety because we don't know if it's a legit report or not. So we're going to proceed as if it is. Um, we'll go ahead and just put a quick description in there. And I'll save it. Now, as uh, you're probably learning, this saves that waypoint anywhere where the layer is being used. That means field maps. That means quick capture, survey one, two, three, all the dashboards. And so what we'll show you next is how you might navigate to that point in the field.